Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So, we're out on the beach. Uh, we've got the Phantom 3 standard. We've got Lychee running. Uh, got the uh, Android phone set up going. And whew, got sand in the controller. So, uh, I think I got everything set up. The problem is I'm having a problem with the screen recording. Apparently, something's changed in Android and it wants to... Um, permission for something or another and I can't quite figure out how to do it out here in the beach and everything else. So I don't think I'm going to get uh, screen recordings of Leechy this time around. But uh, we're going to get some flights and hopefully I won't have the same problem as I had last time. So I'm just kind of checking around the beach area here. Make sure it's relatively clear before I launch. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set the launch. And so we're up. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to take it up a little bit more. We're just going to walk around it, take a look, make sure everything's okay. Uh, looking pretty good, looking pretty stable. So, uh, kind of happy with that. Uh, we got a little bit of back glare, because actually the sun's to my back, so we got the FPV. Uh, I want to move this over to uh, record video. Okay, so I believe I'm recording video. It's flashing, so I'm hoping that's recording video. So I want to take this up and out a little bit. So... I don't know, let's see out around. So I was buoy hunting the other day. So I'm not sure if you can see those buoys out there. So there's two, a green, a green and a red buoy out in the shipping channel. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's take it out there and see if we can see, see what kind of a little bit of a range we can get on this heading out there. Uh, let's see. I think I still think I'm quite a ways from them. Uh, having a hard time seeing the screen, so let's take it out a little bit further. I still have it in sight. Uh, the the uh, sky with the contrast is actually pretty good, but I'm having a hard time seeing the FPV screen. Almost impossible time. That's the one bad thing about this is the uh, FPV screen. Uh, the other thing I miss really is the arrow. I'm trying to see. So we can see on the map here. So if I pull up the map, I'm not sure you can see the map. Let's see if I can get it. So I'm out there quite a ways. Um, so let's... I think I'm taking it out further. I'm just flying it right now by the map. I don't... I can't see it. And... Uh, so I got 85% battery. I still have a pretty strong signal, so I'm going to take it out there further. I can see the props in the FPV now that I'm out there further. And let's go back to... See, I'm just panning it around. I guess the little drone ship, ah, there's, there's the Blue Water Bridge. So I'm facing down lake now, so it's facing looking that way, according to what I'm seeing in the uh, FPV screen. Um, so the map indicates...
good way. So I think if I actually watch and line up with the map, I can uh, figure out which way this is uh, actually heading. So I'm going to spin this back around. And I'm going to see if I can take it out a little bit further. But I still have pretty strong... Uh, uh, now the signal's starting to break up right about there. I don't have the range extenders on there, but I still have some pretty good signal. I'm going to walk this, pan this around again. Just panning it around and seeing what's coming up. Unfortunately, I don't see any ships today. No ships down lake or up lake. Ah, man, I've been kind of drawing a blank on the ships of lately. Uh, let's see, I'm down to about 75% power. Uh, still got some pretty good. So I'm tell you what, I'm going to push it a little bit more out there and see what I can see. So distance, I'm out there about going on to about 2,400 feet. Uh, still pretty good signal. I'm going to get out there 3,000 feet, and I'm going to do another pan. You can tell I'm out there a ways for how far it shores off and it takes. Take a look at those clouds. That's uh, The clouds in the video should be pretty interesting. This is some interesting clouds rolling in. And I'm waiting to see what I get back. See again if I can see those buoys. Up being out 3,000 feet, I should be able to see them. I can't see them in the FPV. It's decided it wants to come home. So I'm kind of a little bit interested. So let's see what happens uh, if it, with it coming home. So you can see it counting down. It's uh, 24,000 feet. It's coming back in pretty rapidly. So I still have, it says it's still, I've got 68% battery. I think it must have lost signal briefly out there during the, uh, taking it out about 3,000 feet. Because I'm actually a little bit surprised that it went out so uh, far. Just checking the airspace above me. 1,300 feet. A thousand feet. Five hundred feet. It should be right. There it is. So return to home does work. So that's a good thing. Kind of came back from a weird direction. I really didn't see it until it was basically right on top of me. I'm going to save out the video. So we got the video saved. So this bad boy is coming down. So that's actually not too bad. I got about 3,000 feet on uh, stock stock setup, so kind of interested when I put the extended antennas on it. I'd like to get it out there more so about 5,000 out by those buoys. But here we go.
Up for a landing. And we've landed. So we'll, we'll, we'll disarm. So we got to disarm. So uh, anyways, actually that was a pretty good flight. I got out there quite a ways, about 3,000 feet. Uh, I have to look at the video when I get uh, back on the computer to see if we made the buoys or at least close. And you can see that I'm not hallucinating that they're out there. Uh, so very happy with the flight. I still got to get the screen recorder piece figured out with this. But once I do, I think it'll work pretty good. So, hey, anyways, I'm giving this flight a thumbs up. This was a pretty good flight. Uh, subscribe button's coming up over there. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And comments hit me up below. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.